With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. In this question, we have two moles of helium gas undergo a reversible cyclic process as shown in figure. Assuming gas to be ideal, what is the net work involved in the cyclic process? Okay, so we have to calculate the net work in this question. And this is the graph which we are given. Now in this graph, we can see that from A to B, right? Uh, the temperature line, this is constant. So for a constant temperature from A to B, the work will be isothermal. And this will be the similar case from C to D. Now here to calculate the network, that is some network W, that will be equal to the work done from A to B plus work done from B to C and then from C to D and after that C to D to A. Okay. So therefore I can write work done will be equal to work done from A to B plus W B C plus W C D. Okay. And plus W D A. Right. And if we add all these work done, we will get the net work. Now here we can see that when the work is done from point A to point B, this process is an isothermal process, right? The temperature here, this temperature line is constant and only the pressure is increasing. Therefore, from A to B, right? And similarly from C to D, okay? C to D, this will be an isothermal process. And similarly, if we see the work from B to C, uh, the pressure will be constant. That means from B to C and from D to A, right? D to A, this will be a isobaric process. Now work done for an isothermal process is given by the formula W is equal to NRT ln P1 by P2. Okay, this is P1 upon P2, right? And for uh, and for the process of isobaric, work done is given by the formula N R delta T. That means N R T2 minus T1. Okay, so now all we have to do is calculate the work done for these processes and then add them up. Therefore, work done from A to B, WAB that will be equal to, uh, this is an isothermal, right? Therefore, NRT ln P1 by P2, uh, the number of moles is given to us, that is 2 moles. So, I will write 2 multiplied by R, um, temperature here is 300 Kelvin into 300 multiplied by ln P1 by P2. P1 is in this case 1 upon 2. Okay. So 1 by 2. Therefore, it will be equal to 600 R ln 1 by 2. Right. So I can write WAB will be equal to minus of 600 R ln 2. Right. Now WBC that will be equal to this is an isobaric process. That means we will use this equation. So we will have N that is 2 into R T2 minus T1. Um, here for B to C, this will be 400 minus 300. Okay. So 400 minus 300. That means it will be equal to uh, 400 minus 300. That is 100 into 2, 200 R. Right. This is W B C. Now W uh, W C D this will be equal to W C D is again isothermal. So therefore 2 into R um, for this temperature will be 400 Kelvin multiplied by 400 okay into ln um, ln this will be 2 upon 1 that means ln 2. So therefore it will be 800 R ln 2. This is WCD. And now WDA 
that will be equal to uh, this is an isobaric process from d to a therefore we will use nrt2 minus t1 that is 2 into r and in this case t2 will be 300 kelvin and t1 400 that means 300 minus 400 therefore it will be equal to um, minus of 200 r right and now to calculate the net work w that will be the sum of all these works which we have calculated so w a b that is minus 600 r ln 2 minus 600 r ln 2 right w b c is 200 r plus 200 r w c d is 800 r ln 2 plus 800 r ln 2 and w d a is minus 200 r okay minus 200 r so this will get cancelled and 800 minus 600 we will have v w is equal to 200 r ln 2 right so this will be the network done for the reversible cyclic process therefore the correct option will be option a for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.